Hi, I'm Astrid Nelvita, the Maths Mentor, and this video is suitable for students who are struggling in maths and just need to know how to study without needing to cry. The first tip that I can give you is if you have tried working through this by yourself and it's proven unsuccessful, and you are just having this sense of dread that comes over you every time you sit down to do a maths homework, get yourself a professional maths mentor. Now, it doesn't have to be me, but the amount of value that you will get of just having that somebody with the extensive experience of being able to nurture and bring the best out of you and be able to get you to rediscover your passion for learning for maths again, it'll make everything so much easier and you will probably dare i say even start liking maths the maths mentor could be a professional like myself it could be a teacher in your school or it could even be another student when you go find your maths mentor or tutor do not just get anybody that comes up first in their search results you have to find someone that's suitable for you because worst case scenario they're going to make you feel like even more of an idiot and you're going to hate maths even more. Also, just because somebody is good at maths does not mean that they are good at teaching maths. Here are some questions that I suggest you ask when you're looking for someone to help you. Question number one. How many years have you been actively teaching maths? I have over 10 years of experience under my belt and I think it's really important to have that experience because I have seen a variety of different students and I know how each student responds to different types of teaching methods. Question number two would be, describe your typical student. You need to listen very closely to the response that's given because the closer you are to the description, the greater the chance that it's a better match for you because that means that the mentor would be able to understand how your psyche works and be able to explain things in a way that you would understand. In the last couple of years, I have now concentrated my efforts into teaching only high school students who are on the verge of giving up on maths. And I mean, they are at the bottom of the class. They, they are ready to never again do maths for another second of their life. I love working with those students because even though they can't see it, I can see their hidden talents and I believe in them even though they don't believe in themselves. It is so rewarding to see the transformation of them going from being utterly defeated to that hopefulness that just shines through their eyes of them believing in themselves and they just shoot to the top of the class to the point where they were teaching other students. It fills me with so much joy and I'm so proud of them all. So do listen out to the description of their typical student so that you can see if it's a good fit for you and that mentor. When you're doing maths problems, do use your strengths. What do I mean by that? If you are a student who loves the arts, then I encourage you to scribble, to draw, to color, to make the page as pretty as possible. It also makes for better understanding of the question that's being asked. If you are more of an English person, then write more words in your working out. If you feel like you have to write a couple of sentences, do so. Your working out should never look like this. This is boring. It's incomprehensible. Nobody knows what's going on here. However, this, now this is much better to look at. So the next time you do a math question, let your imagination go wild. Ponder on the mysteries of the question. And most of all, have fun. What happens if you get stuck on a question? You've looked at the example in the textbook, doesn't make any sense to you. You looked at the notes that you took earlier in class, still doesn't make any sense to you. What do you do then? I know for most of my students, this is the most frustrating moment of doing math homework. And you feel like you need to burn the entire textbook to ashes. First thing you gotta do is don't panic. Just put a little mark next to the question, leave it and go do other similar questions. When you come back to it, chances are you've already figured out how to do the question because of the other similar questions that you've done. If you're still stuck, this is when having a mentor comes in so handy because the last thing you want to do is to sit there for hours just staring at this one question and then go to bed feeling defeated. If you are determined to get through this on your own, 
Then there's always YouTube and Google and is it, and Wolfstrom Alpha. It's a website where you can type in the question and it provides you a step-by-step -step solution. However, this is not the method I recommend because you can get so easily distracted when you're on the internet. And also, there's so much information out there, it might actually end up making you feel more overwhelmed. The next tip a lot of my students like to hear, you study less. However, you study more often, that's the catch. The last thing you want is to sit there for hours at your desk staring at the same maths question all night long and then not get through it. That is not what I want for you. What I want you to do is when you come home from school and when you've had a little bit of a snack and drink some water and getting relaxed and you're about to start your homework, do your least favorite subjects first. And if you're here, I might be safe to assume that maths is your least favorite subject. So do maths first. Now, I know what you're thinking. There's so many other work I gotta get done. There's major works. I don't have enough time. But the thing is, I want you to study less. So don't spend more than 25 minutes on doing your maths homework. And you'll have all night to do your other things that you need to do that you think is more fun than doing maths. So just get it out of the way first thing when you come back from school. Now this doesn't mean I want you to just haphazardly rush through your maths homework, making mistakes everywhere and just kind of go through it for the sake of going through it. No, I want you to do it efficiently, but accurately. Again, this is when having that mentor, that someone that you can just call up is so valuable. Imagine this. You're sitting down, you're ready to go, you're doing your maths homework, and the first few questions were fine, no problem. And then you got down to a question where you're stuck. Now, instead of spending hours upon hours on the internet trying to figure out what to do, you pick up that phone, you call your mentor, you work through the problems together, and you get that comprehensive understanding of how to do the question, and you then will be able to do a few more questions on your own because it's been explained to you. And then you'll get stuck again. And instead of pouring another few hours on the internet, you pick up that phone again, call your mentor, go through that question together, and so on and so forth. And I bet it wouldn't even take you 25 minutes to finish your work because you have someone who will help you get through them much faster and actually understand it. And at the end of it, you'll feel like this, this weight being lifted off your shoulder and you just feel this huge sense of relief. An extra pro tip, when you have mastered all of the easy questions, challenge yourself with the more difficult questions at the end of the chapter. You will thank me later when you have to do an exam. Maths is supposed to be an enjoyable learning process. You just need to find someone who can skillfully show you how. You can go to my website www.astridthematsmentor.com to see if you do qualify to be my mentee. Alternatively, you can subscribe to my channel for more helpful content.